Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this fast typography animation is done in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. For the night 10 in 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok now first we are going to create a background so for that we can right click go to new solid and let's call this bg for background also let's change its color and you can make it little bit of off white something like this after that just click on ok now once you are done with this we are ready to add a text so for that we are going to select the text tool and then you can just simply click and you can type whatever you want i'm going to type black and let me just quickly select this and let's make sure the anchor point is in the center so you can hold down the control key and then just simply double click on this pan anchor tool now we can select this press s and let me just quickly scale this up so i'm using this gotham black font it's completely up to you you can pick whatever font you want now we can select this and let's align it to the center something like this now we can select this and press ctrl d once again and i'm going to type friday it's completely up to you you can type whatever you want but for this example i'm going to type black friday so let me just quickly place the friday over here and now we can just add a little bit of spacing just like that so once you're happy with this we can select both the layers and let's just move them a little bit above now we can add a dot over here so for that we can select the ellipse tool after that you can click anywhere you want just hold on the shift key and you can see that it will create a perfect circle now we can change its color so let's make this little bit red something like this now we can select this and let's place it over here again let's press s and i'm going to just scale this down again let's move its anchor point in the center so hold on the control key and then just simply double click on it now let's zoom in we can scale this down a little bit and then just simply try to place it in a one line something like this so now we are done with the final look and let's start animating it so first i'm going to select all of these layers and let's move them ahead after that i'm going to select just the shape layer and press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move it to the beginning also i'm going to align it to the center now let's press s and i'm going to do a simple scale animation so let's add a keyframe and let's set this to zero let's move a couple of frames ahead and let's increase its size something like this now we can select the keyframes press f9 or you can right click go to keyframe assistant and easy's after that we can go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph now we can just simply tweak the curves so i'm going to just make it look something like this so that it is really fast in the beginning something like that and after that we can just stay over here for a couple of seconds and then just simply set this back to the size of our original one so which is at 58.7 so I'm going to just try 58.7 just like that now we can select this again let's go to the graph and I can select both of these endpoints and I'm going to just simply move them to the middle something like this so we have this sort of animation now let's do one more thing I'm going to just animate its position as well so in order to do that let's select this and let's press P for position let's add a keyframe and again let's select this press u to see all the keyframes now let's go to the ending keyframe and we can select this press p for position and we can just simply copy this and just simply select this and paste it so now you can see that our dot will move to its original position something like this and again we can select both of these keyframes and let's play around with the curve and i'm going to just make it something like this so now if i play back you can see that we have created this sort of animation which is looking perfect now we can pick a point somewhere around here then we can just simply select both of these layers and let's move it 
so that our text will appear now let's start animating some elements in the beginning now we can probably get rid of this shape layer so you can delete it now let's start adding some elements over here so first i'm going to type our second text which is sale so let's type sale again let's align it move its anchor point now select this press s and i'm going to just simply scale this up now again we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and on this one we are going to just remove the fill so you can click over here and after that we can select the stroke and we can just simply increase it over here but first let me just quickly disable this so that we are able to see so you can just enable the stroke something like this so i think this is looking fine again we can select the top layer and on this one we are going to apply effect called cc reptiles so just search for it and let's drag it onto this after that we can expand the right and left side so let's just type 2000 on all of these so there you go now you can see that we have our text now let's add some more elements so i'm going to just disable both of these now let's select the rectangle tool and i'm going to just draw a rectangle something like this we can select this and let's change its color to a little bit dark something like this now we are going to add a bunch of these at different points so let's just simply place it over here and we can just play around with the scale so let's move a couple of frames ahead and you can press ctrl shift d to split the layer after that you can move this to a different location and you can have a different type of look again ctrl shift d and just keep on doing this until you find some really nice patterns just press ctrl shift d and then just simply play around with the element just keep on doing this and randomly place it at different points all right so we are done with this so let me just quickly play this so here you can see we have created this sort of animation and over here i'm going to just simply place it to the middle using the align panel and after that i'm going to just go to the very end and let me just quickly select this and i'm going to move its anchor point to the very bottom so for that let's select the anchor tool and you can hold on the control key to place it at the end now what i'm going to do is just simply move it to the circle so that we have the end point somewhere around here and let's just place it at the edge now we can select the layer and we can just simply press s and we can just increase its scale so that we can have a little bit of overlapping just like this now we can select this press s for scale and let's add a scale in the beginning and somewhere around here we can set the scale to zero for both the values so that we have this sort of animation and now i can select these press f9 now let's go to the graph editor and i'm going to just simply change the graph to something like this and let's do this for the other one as well just like that we can also add a little bit of delay so that it goes something like this so i think this is looking fine now once you're done with this let's start animating our other text so let me just quickly enable this and this so first i'm going to animate this scale so let me just quickly hide this one and first we are going to just animate it just like we did with this shape layer so we are going to randomly place it here and there let me just quickly move it somewhere around here and i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's select this and let's type s only again i'm going to select this and let's press s and let's scale this up so just keep on selecting this and just moving it here and there and just keep on typing different text let's type l and i'm going to just place it over here and let's move a couple of frames ahead now we can just simply change this to an e and we can place it over here now we can just simply type sale and let's place it somewhere around here we can probably scale this down and let's place it over here 
we can sort of place it in the center and let's select this press ctrl shift t now we can delete this and let me just quickly get our main text and let's place it over here so now if i play back here you can see we have created this sort of look and let's keep it over here and after that we can press ctrl shift t and let's delete this so we have this sort of animation perfect now let's animate the other sale text so let me just quickly select this and i'm going to just press p for position and let's add a keyframe after that we can go to the very end and we can just have a little bit of animation just like this and if you think that this is too fast then we can just make this slower something like this now we can add some opacity animation so let's add a keyframe let's start from zero and let's move a couple of frames ahead and we can set this to 100 and let's go to somewhere around here then again we can start adding a keyframe and let's just simply change it back to zero perfect now we can do one more thing if you think that this is too dark then you can select this and instead of going to 100 we can just simply set this to something like 10 or 15 maybe let's go with 10 and let's select this one and i'm going to set this to 10 as well so there you go now we have this subtle seal text in the back as well so yeah this is looking nice now there's one more thing that you can do you can just simply add colors to different elements so i'm going to just make this white let me just quickly search for fill and we can just simply drag the fill to this and i'm going to just change its color to white now we can select this press ctrl c to copy it and we can just simply select different elements so let's select this e and paste it now we can select this and let's move over here we can paste it over here as well now if i play back here you can see we have little bit of variation in the colors so which is looking nice now there's one last small animation that we can do we can just simply select both of these texts and let's press p and let's add keyframe for positions and let's move it over here after that we can just move them little bit to this side now we can select the keyframes and let's press f9 and we can again change the graph to look something like this so that we have this sort of animation and we can just simply add this animation and let's offset them so let's just play around with the positioning now if i play back so you can see that we have created this full animation and it's completely up to you you can reveal whatever text you want you can have your channel name or whatever video you are making now there is one more thing that you can do to change the look of this whole animation and in order to do that let me just quickly create a new solid so let's go to layer new solid and just click on ok on this one we're going to apply gradient ramp just search for it and let's drag it on to this after that i'm going to create an adjustment layer go to layer new adjustment and on this one we're going to apply time displacement so just search for time displacement and after that we can select the solid that we just created and make sure the effects and mask is selected now we can disable the solid for now and let's go to the very beginning and i'm going to change the maximum displacement to 0.2 so now if i play back here you can see we have created a completely different kind of animation by just simply adding this time displacement effect now the best thing is that you can just simply control it using these parameters so if i set this to 250 now we will have smaller ridges something like this and if i play back now it will make it a little bit slower but overall the effect will look really nice now there's one more thing that you can do is you can just simply enable the gradient and you can play around with the gradient and all the effects will react according to this so let me just quickly change this to radial ramp and we can just play around with this so now if i enable the animation and if i go back so if i play it here you can see we have created a different sort of animation by just simply changing the gradient so in this way you can play around with the gradient and the time durations to get a different kind of look 
So that's it for this tutorial and I hope you learned something from this one and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below. Also the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.